Hi there, my name is Zachary Bennett. I am the Swiss Army Knife of Canadian Talent. And I'm with Katie on Katie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Katie Ullman here on Katie. Oh, and you're watching Katie Chats? Is that what you want? Yeah. And you're watching Katie Chats. All right. <laughs> That'll be great. <laughs> Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto with musician, actor, writer, and director Zachary Bennett. How did you initially get into the business? Uh, I initially got into the business when I was about, uh, I think I was a fetus. I was a, bit, <laughs> I was a bit older, I think. I was about four or five years old. Um, my mom moved to Toronto from uh, London, Ontario, where we were. My parents did. My mom came to, to act in Toronto, and when she met an agent, uh, they also saw the kids that she came with and said, would you mind if I met them as well? And uh, so that that's kind of how it started. I was doing commercials. My first job was actually uh, a French-Canadian Rice Krispies commercial with my real sister, uh, Marin Bennett. And uh, yeah, instead of Snap, Crackle, Pop, it was Creek, Crack, Crock. I oh. still remember that. So, And it only went up from there, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> and what were were some of your earlier musical influences? Oh man, I, I remember when I was, I mean, back at that age, I was dancing a lot to, to uh, dancing and performing to Michael Jackson's Thriller. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I got older, my taste got even more varied. I remember I had a mixtape on it with Beastie Boys, like licensed to ill Beastie Boys, Madonna's Immaculate Collection, and I shit you not, uh, Aladdin, the Aladdin soundtrack. <laughs> Yeah, so I didn't have many friends back back in the day, because I was a little too weird. But <laughs> what's your favorite Aladdin song? My favorite Aladdin song, actually, my favorite Disney movie that back in the day, the one I was really into was actually uh, The Little Mermaid. I think it was the the seashells that really got me. But uh, but that was that was the one like I wanted to perform in that I wanted to shrink myself into cartoon size and sing under the sea or something and now you do a lot of animated work so are you fulfilling all of your fantasies from your it's childhood funny. yeah I think I am at the time I wished it was it would be like some Broadway musical of Little Mermaid that I could have been Sebastian the crab in or was he a crab or a lobster I don't know. he was a crab he was a crab uh, <laughs> but then I, but then yeah, later on in my life, I just started doing all these, uh, getting these roles and wacky voices. And now, now I get to do all these cartoons, which is amazing. Especially because I have an 11 year old son, so he gets to tell me which ones are cool and which ones I shouldn't talk about around him. So. <laughs> and you have a film coming out in a few months. Where do we go from here? What was the inspiration behind that? Yeah, actually, it's it's uh, it's just a short film. Uh, I wrote it and directed it. I, I've been a, an acting coach a lot uh, off camera uh, on a, a lot of teen and children's programs, and uh, I realized that I, I wanted to try my own directing for a change. So I uh, I wrote I wrote this little film, and my wife Megan and I uh, we we produced it and, and shot it in our house with uh, an awesome group of people. Uh, and it's just a little uh, short film, but it means a lot to us. So we're actually going to do an, an online premiere on actually June 3rd. So coming, coming right up, uh, on probably midnight on June 3rd on Vimeo. We'll uh, we'll do the we'll make sure everybody knows. But yeah, it's where do we go from here? And it stars uh, Atticus Mitchell and uh, Nadia Litz and m another sister of mine, Sophie Bennett. So yeah, I got to direct my sister in something, which was kind of fun too. What's at the heart of the story? <clears throat> Um, at the heart of the story is uh, coming to grips with uh, harsh reality, I would say, and uh, dealing, coping with death. And that's sort of a common theme in your music as well. Coping with death? Well, I mean, Actually, is it kind of is. Yeah, that's true. We're, we haven't we haven't quite decided yet, but it looks like the new album is going to be called Better Living Through Death. So. Really? <laughs> I love dark shit. Uh, no, uh, yeah, it is actually, and and that's and I I've written a, a feature film uh, that definitely deals with the same kind of subject matter and the same and, and, and dealing with 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 when your feet hit the ground, you know, are you running or, or what's happening? So I, I like, I'm always attracted to uh, realistic stories and, and uh, yeah. 
Tell me a bit about your band, the Tin Star Orphans. Yeah, Tin Star Orphans are a, a, it's a five piece. Uh, I started the group. We were originally called uh, Yonder, um, but that was back when I was trying to do more of a, a, a roots rock kind of thing. You know, we're pretty much more straight and narrow rock and roll. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm the front man, if you will. I, 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 the lead singer, and I play rhythm guitar, and then we get a group of guys. We've been uh, We've been told that we sound like like Wilco or Arcade Fire or other things, or Kings of Leon is a new one that we've been hearing a lot. Um, but yeah, we I absolutely love music, and I and and playing in a band is just the greatest experience ever, and and getting to record is even better. And that's what we're doing right now. Actually, we're making our third album um, that we're gonna self-release. We left our record label, and we're going to do it all online ourselves to start. So we're gonna once it's ready to go, we're probably just gonna put it out there for the fans we have an incredible fan base already so yeah and uh, I think I mentioned but we're going to uh, be playing the North by Northeast Music Festival we're playing at the Dakota, the Dakota Tavern on June 14th at midnight so and what can we expect from your new album uh, it is a very it's funny I, I wrote a bunch of songs that were very um, I just got married, and so a lot of it's like you, you think, oh no, you know. Remember when Sarah McLaughlin got happy? That's when she started, you know, sucking. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> so you get that worry. But uh, uh, actually, I brought all these songs to the guys, and and I kind of we all uh, deconstructed them and then reconstructed them, and so nothing uh, of what we have now sounds anything remotely close to these like little love songs I was playing on the acoustic there it, it's quite a loud and ripping album and I'm very very excited about it and where's the best place to find out more information on you and your music and everything that you do online yeah I think uh, going to tinstarorphans.com uh, you'll find a lot we're on Twitter at, uh, at tinstar orphans or at tinstar Zachary is my my personal handle if you want to find out what goofy things I'm saying and then uh, yeah you can also look up Zachary Bennett just on Facebook right Thank you so much. Congratulations on all of your success and best of luck with the upcoming project. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. I am the Swiss Army Knife of Canadian Talent, and I'm with Katie on Katie. Oh shit. <laughs> Katie Ullman here on Katie. Or oh, and you're watching Katie Chats. Is that what you want? Yeah. And you're watching Katie Chats. Right. <laughs> That'll be great. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Zachary Bennett, and I am the Swiss Army Knife of Canadian Talent, and I am on. Katie. <laughs> I want to get that out so well. Okay, oh, yeah, I'll try it one more time. <clears throat> Oh, hi there. I'm Zachary Bennett. I am an actor, writer, director, and thief. And you are watching Katie Chats. I like it. And thief. <laughs> it's out.